All right, friends, raise your hand if your March Madness bracket was busted <laughs> after this weekend. Oh, my goodness. Yep. It's terrible. <laughs> I mean, I had Illinois in the final. You yeah, know? me so, too. I had them winning the whole thing. Yeah, okay. Well, I had Gonzaga winning the whole thing. Yeah. But, you know, if your bracket is busted, you're not alone. There have been 12 <laughs> upsets so far in the men's tournament. The latest was today. The number two seed, Iowa, went down to Oregon. Mm -hmm. That's Ugh. right. Another upset. All right, so check this out. Until this year, the most upsets we've seen through the round of 32 was 10. The record for the most upsets in an entire tournament, 13. We only need one more to hit that. And, you know, the Cinderella team, every year there's one, you know, and this year it really does appear to be the one that everyone was talking about, Earl Roberts. They're responsible for not one, but two pretty surprising upsets. Yeah, first Earl Roberts beat Ohio State Friday. Boy, that blew a lot of us out of the water. And then they upset the Florida Gators on Sunday. So what is up with this team? We wanted to learn a little bit more about them. Here's Dave and Taylor. Hi everybody, welcome downtown Indianapolis on Georgia Street. Taylor, after tonight, we're down to the Sweet 16 and officially Cinderella has arrived to the party and her name is Oral Roberts. Yeah, the second 15 seed ever in the history of the NCAA tournament to make it to the Sweet 16. Here's the thing about these Cinderella teams, Dave. <laughs> they come into these tournaments under the radar, not expected to stay very long, small schools, but here we are. I'm going to admit I didn't know anything about Oral Roberts before this weekend. Uh, I knew very little, so we, did, we decided to go ask some fans. Do you know anything about Cinderella? Where is Oral Roberts located? Oh gosh. East, west, part of the country? I couldn't even give you a good guess. I told you I'd never heard of them. I do. Oh, I, I think forgot. I do. I think <laughs> I forgot too. Yeah. You can cheat. You can look off for some answers. Tulsa. Tulsa. For a million dollars, do you know where, where it's located? Oklahoma. 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 <laughs> nice. <laughs> What's the mascot? Well, he was just quizzing me on this stuff yesterday. You know what a Wolverine is? Yeah, that's true. This one flies, right? Oh, as a falcon? I know it's some sort of animal. For some reason, I feel like it has to be something with a tooth, just because of coral. I don't know. Yeah. I've never well, heard Robert, of it. It's a fighting teeth. Uh, 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 <laughs> nice, two for two. Do you know who Oral Roberts was? I don't actually. Kind of. That was an easy quiz. <laughs> <laughs> he was a soldier. A soldier, good guess. Okay, so um, who was Oral Roberts? Team that beat Ohio State. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he what? The team that beat Ohio State. No, who was the guy Oral Roberts? Yeah. No, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Tap out. Tap out. Tap out. No, take a guess. Uh, I'm thinking like a maybe like a pastor. A pa That's a great. He was an evangelist. Oh. <laughs> All right, so I got to admit, I'm, I'm cheering now, cheering for the Golden Eagles. They might as well just ride this thing to the Final Four. You always have to root for Cinderella once she comes into the story. They'll be playing here behind us at Baker's Life Fieldhouse next Saturday, taking on three-seeded Arkansas. Going to be a good one. Should be fun.